Welcome to episode 20 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Ipswich Town. We've got to ramp up the quantity of episodes for the next week or so to make sure that this gets done before FIFA 23. It also sets me up mentally for the work ahead. Roll the intro. <laughs> we take in our first game let's get to the comments max pet kitsch do you think you'd ever set up a poll for us to decide what youth squad legends team you'd use we did that for leighton orient now i did sway heavily to leighton orient and probably would have done it myself but it didn't really help the popularity of the series so i don't think that that is coming back i do like the mystery at play like you don't know what team i'm gonna play as right now and when that reveal trailer drops i'm sure it's gonna be incredibly hyped up we might have a poll for the full 4 formation a lot of people getting reminiscent and missing that formation in youth squad legends of course it could return let's start that conversation down in the comments section today first team's looking like this so you got the overall boost to the players that have been playing the europa league games now it's capped at plus three for 80 overalls and above ah, it's just baby please first game this episode in the championship Hull city against ipswich simulated and we lose oh we've got a team mostly consisting of high 70s low 80s losing to hull city boy oh boy this team is in sixth in the championship underachievers at the moment not gonna lie ipswich town against huddersfield second game let's get the win there it is two nil ferguson and ivan are scoring lights are off in the studio as per i don't know what you're talking about this is the prime way to broadcast image bill Gem grabs the september player of the month award it's just his hair bro Ah! Feeling a big win here at home against AFC Bournemouth. All the draw, 2-2, Ferguson getting a brace. This can only go well with Bogdan Bogdanov in the first team. Blackburn Rovers have lost. Geraldo scored the goal for Ipswich. Up the Bogdan Bogdanov, clearly. Hey, now we're in Europe. Looks like many of the players have just been upgraded naturally. Okamura's gone up to an 80. Congratulations, absolutely deserved. Martina's up there as well, playing unconventionally at left wing back today. Lots of changes, lots of chances to get people boosted. Panathinaikos against Ipswich. All we need to do is win. Thanks to the Don't Buy FIFA 23 video, I realise that the AI do actually cross in the next gen, so long as you've got it on world class. So I'm going to have to make some killer sliders for that difficulty if they don't get that fixed for the higher difficulties. Geraldo, Geraldo, over the top. Can we get there? Can we be there first, Geraldo? Maybe wins the header. Here comes goal. Absolutely steaming in there. Yes, Geraldo! Off the post, gets a second attempt. And smashes it in right to the centre of the net. No one was really covering it. That's 1-0 Ipswich. As we've come to expect, Ipswich Town starting games well through. Boy, Konomu losing his bearings. Their defence doesn't look competent or confident. Chase for DeMar Ocon. I think he's going to get there first. Well done, great defending. Uses Okamura. And then into the midfield, Yudsel Vanga. Don't know about that pass. Just about sorted it out. Can we get a run? Maybe. Off that wing. Is he onside? Trevor Westberg times his run perfectly. And then we've got goal into the box and over the bar. Wow, very nice move there by Ipswich Town. We found something that goal cannot do and that is finish. He is not here to finish. Get it out wide. Lamin Seca. There's the ball. Westberg! Lovely! Someone was worried that he was going to like lose his place in the first team. No chance. Chest control. Lovely by Lamin Seca. And he'll turn the wing back. The wing back's just given up. Inside, in the middle, is Geraldo. Oh, now then! Yeah, you can do that celebration. That was definitely a no-look finish. Boy, oh boy, on the roulette spin. Balotelli could never on a plate from Lamin Seca there. I mean, he's really, really poor by the Panathinaikos wing back. This defense is horrid. Oh! <laughs> I can't even get my words out. Geraldo, bang! Top corner, 4-1. There's a lovely little hat trick. We will change one thing at half time. I don't think we're going to concede three. Luca comes in at centre-back. Increases his overall for sure. Standing tackle by Martina. Lamin Seca. 
is off and away. The wing backs are done for. Here, Geraldo for four. He cannot stop scoring today. Wow, wow, wow. It's 5 1 Ipswich. Quite an incredible performance. And look at this again. The wing backs just failing to do the job. Westberg, great save. Play on is called. Oh, through ball. Perfection, Geraldo! Geraldo's got five! And there's plenty of game time left. Applewood's picked up an injury. All of a sudden, there's a record in sight. Oh my god! Geraldo, six! Six goals! Have we turned the difficulty down? Look at the state of that finish right into the side netting. Little outside curling. 7-1. There's six goals for Geraldo. We might be finally seeing the record topple. That looked like a handball, but it was in the box, so the referee's not going to call it. I think there's a load of players tied up on six goals apiece. All of a sudden, the surge of goals has slowed down. Oh, Lamin Seca. Abel Ward will be making way. Cameron Ferguson playing as a central midfielder. We just need one more. They've lazily given the ball back. Here is Geraldo. Nah, the passing's so off. Ah, that's so annoying. He had so much time to get his seventh. Oh! Oh! I mean, the booze ring out. It's a terrible, terrible performance by Panathinaikos. Top notch by Gonzalo Geraldo. But damn, I really needed that seventh goal, man. All in all, an outrageous performance by Ipswich Town. Keep Geraldo up there for the European games, definitely. This is Ipswich Town against West Ham United. West Ham currently in first place and... I mean, with results like that, I don't think they'll be moving anytime soon. Maybe EFL bottle job time. Don't really want to stay in this trophy. Bogdan Bogdanov up front to a settle off the left. Yudsel Vanga can have a game. Looks like Abel Ward's injury has persisted. We'll have a look at the new section in a second. This is a simulated match, of course, and we've lost. So that's, you know, great news all around. Bogdan Bogdanov scored. Any guesses that this is a broken toe? Naveed Abelward has got a broken toe. <laughs> Middlesbrough against Ipswich. Yes, back to winning ways. 2-1 away from home. Westberg and Belchior goal scorers. There's the clean sheet leader. How good is that goalkeeper top, by the way? My finest work. Poor Panathinaikos. They have to go through it again. The Cypria Oikonomu in the net. Behind Geraldo, I just want the service to be as good as it possibly can. So first team midfield, I guess take two. Maybe Geraldo scores seven today. Ipswich down against Panathinaikos. Got to play this like I play pro clubs. Just all about the goals. Come on, we can do this. Yes, there it is. Geraldo, 1-0 Ipswich down. First attack produces the first goal. Lovely ball there by Ivnor. Get it inside, Geraldo. Oh, he's a lucky so-and-so, isn't he? 2-0 Ipswich. Bill Gem. Right, he's onside again. Geraldo, hand trick after 20 minutes. Goal's making the move forward, but it has to be Geraldo. He's hit the crossbar. Oh. Folks, I hate to say it. It's not going to happen today. This is Yazuki Okamura. I wonder what Obi Jackers could have done. Oh! Fingertips by the goalkeeper. All right, five minutes. Let's just concentrate on the team performance now. See if we can find a goal from somewhere, even if it's not from the foot, from the boots of Gonzalo Geraldo. 23-yard free kick, thanks to a handball. Little bit of a knuckleball. Trevor Westberg! How has that not gone in? Oh, they've called the full time there! Which is fair enough. I mean, we've won the game, but I could have just easily passed the ball there to Westberg and got the team a fourth. Slightly shocking decision there from the Europa League referees. But let's be honest here. After that penalty call at Old Trafford on Thursday, I mean, it's just typical of these referees. It's Ipswich Town against Barnsley in the Championship. There's a win. There's not a win. Oh my god. We've been shredded by Barnsley Football Club. Fleetwood Town didn't have enough players, so they forfeited the match. We got a 3-0 victory there. Usually I would be gutted, but when you're losing 3-1 to Barnsley, you take every win you can get. Just how can this team be losing so heavily? Ipswich Town against Birmingham. There's 4-1. Hat-trick by Ibe, not one from Belchior. Ipswich Town against Roma FC. This is match day five of the Europa League group stage. Belchior. Ooh, 
Ooh, gets the cross right, and Geraldo stuck into the bottom corner. Nobody's going to score seven today. Well, that's a good start. Belchior drives into the box. Who's there? Where's Maurice McKenzie for 2 0 Ipswich Town? Decimating one of the Italian giants. Geraldo sends it to Belchior. They're lining up. Westberg 3 0. No, I do believe we've actually turned the difficulty down. Big Wes threw out a leg. Did not get their lovely goal from the edge of the box by the captain of Roma. Please don't tell me Scott McTominay is the. Ah! Oh. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Climate activists want to stop the fossil fuels. They're mad at gas cars. Good goal, like, but Scott McTominay should not be the captain of Roma. Restores a bit of pride, because most of it's gone already. Now, I really like Scott McTominay, but that captain's armband decision is a questionable one. It's well done by Ocon. The work rate of the team really shining, but the bouncers, uh, they are helping out the away side. It's us that need to be waking up a little bit. Okamura getting bullied. <laughs> In a plan back to the... Oh, my God! Easy, boys. Easy. Ramos is essentially marking no one. Oh, free header. What a save by Andy Parry. Parrying it to his own crossbar. Wonderful stop to keep us ahead in this game. Instinctive by the Welsh. Probably number one at this stage. Oh, my goodness. And then he lets that one in. It's been coming. If we don't win this, we don't get the plus one on the players. Come on. Unknown Uruguayan player. Yes! Yes! What a finish! Is it by the number seven? Where's Maurice McKenzie? Little Wes have that. Here we go. Lovely stop by Okamura. Let's keep going. 30 seconds between us and more overall improvements. Out! Okamura, what a centre bike partnership. Good win. You know what I'm really excited for? Now we've got one more game in the group stage. And then we get to see what the game's actually done with Wiseman Kitam. Out on loan at the moment. Cardiff City against Ipswich Town. And the winner there by Lamin Sek after Ober equalised. This is Ipswich Town against Peterborough. We have lost to Peterborough. Solid, lads. Really, really good stuff. Stoke City against Ipswich Town. I think we are... Getting close to December, if not in it. We've got that 3-1 victory. Ober, Westberg and Ober. More Geraldo, because I know second half of the season, it'll be maybe focusing a bit more on Wiseman Kita. Even though Tull's got the bandage, I think he's okay to play alongside Wango, Seco, Giannini, helping out Geraldo up top. Lego Warsaw against Ipswich Town. Yes, we can get straight through so tall is playing hopefully the 90 minutes interception by goal he's everywhere goal currently pushing back nice ball though trying to make geraldo the creator for once goal using that power again uh, but what geraldo's best at oh he's doing that what an idea Great vision, almost the perfect execution. Get back on side, Geraldo. Avic, good finish. Boys, a finisher. I don't know about the dream of Tua Settle and Wiseman Kitam up front in a 4 2 4, but Geraldo and Wiseman Kitam, that could be devastating. Gian Gian, there's the ball. It's perfect. It's Geraldo. 2 0, Ipswich down. Right on the money there from Gian Gian. Yodel Wango. Go on, Geraldo! <laughs> wow! You give him anything or in or around the box, and he's probably finishing it. Goodness me. Half time, 3 0, and another hat trick ball coming for Gonzalo Geraldo. Maybe another chance at breaking the record. Damar Ocon. Go on, Geraldo! <laughs> 4-0. How many interceptions is that lad going to make 
full-time Ipswich Town have won this game by four goals to nil. And it's another match ball. Simply irresistible Gonzalo Geraldo. Show me the monster. Wise man, Kitam. Not just yet. Ipswich Town up against Blackpool. Got the 3-0 victory. Westberg, Martina, Aubert. Love to see Big Wes on the scoreboard. And it's Ipswich Town against Stoke City. We've played Stoke City before in the league, I think. Solid 3-1 win. Belchior, Lawar, Westberg. Here comes Peterborough against Ipswich. Get another win. Belchior and Westberg increasing their goal tally for the campaign. We've got space in second place. Well, here it is, and it's not as outstanding as what we'd hoped. Wiseman Kitam has gone up by 5 to 78. Tagai, amazing loan out to Crystal Palace, by the way. Stood Nitsky there at 78 as well. Probably a solid centre back now. Recall, recall. Recall. Good work, lads. Quick sim, Ipswich Town against Fleetwood Town. 3-1 victory. Andy Parry scored a penalty. Now away against Barnsley. We've brought back all the long players. 1-1. One, one. Be Wes Morris McKenzie getting the equaliser in the 17th. Player returns from injury. It should be Abelward with that broken toe. In a good place to face off against Fulham. 3-3. A three, three. little bit disappointing with that. Oh, Andy Perry! We are in January. And that means the third round of the FA Cup. The transfer window opens. Both of which not really too fussed about. Of course, we've already won the FA Cup. Hence why we're in the Europa League this season. For the first time in this save, you know, playing with the players feels like we got that team together that maybe can do a bit better than a 3-1 loss against Everton. I've just scored our goal. Big one for the city, for the fans. Ipswich Town against Norwich. We've taken off Martino through a conflict of interest and got a 1-1 draw. Up the Belchior. We were really comfortable in second place. Now Blackburn have overtaken us. Strong setup. Goodness me, Parry's up to 86 overall. Surely Ipswich Town have won. Parry missed a penalty. Ocon Belchior, well played, lads. FC Bournemouth against Ipswich Town. We're nearing the end of January, and that is 3-0 Ocon Lawa Martina. Seen a lot of defenders score goals, so probably good at set pieces or something. There's a little sense of anxiousness usually when you get to uh, the close of a window, but not right now. I'm very, very comfortable. QPR against Ipswich Town. Lovely dub. Ibner, Belchior with two. Now for Burnley, we really have picked up some steam. Martina and Okamura up to 81. Fantastic to see them grow so quickly. Strong performance yet again. Westberg, Ibner, Belchior. Let's do a bit of that. Ipswich Town against Hull City. Trying to keep players sharp. Belchior scoring. Grind out the results if you need to. Huddersfield against Ipswich. Not too bad, Andy. You're a good penalty taker. What's going on? And now Blackpool, Ipswich. Little Wes popping up from that midfield. Finally. Oh, this is what we wanted to see. Shamus doesn't even look like it's working. I played Wise Man Kitam for the last three games trying to up that sharpness and he's still in like dark red territory. Yeah, his sharpness is at three. How can his sharpness be at three? The whole reason why we're here is to watch Wise Man Kitam up front. So let's do it. Rail Sociedad against Ipswich. Westberg. There's a ball in. Oh, trying the diving head. Belchio! Hey! Capitalizes because Sociedad couldn't do the instant clearance. Oh, oh, oh! Images, images that I never wanted to see. Wise man struggling a little bit. However, wise man hits the post. He's also probably still warming up his wise man. Oh, you got to get them joints in check. Oh, slight challenge by hit up a land. I called for a penalty. Pellegrini against Parry. Oh! The lucky sod. It thundered right off Andy Parry's backside or the back of his legs. Went straight into Pellegrini again with Parry helpless on the floor. That's EAAs if I've ever seen it. Here comes Geraldo into the centre forward position. Yes, I am dropping Wiseman Kit and for now. Geraldo. Oh, taken out completely. They didn't want any of that Geraldo smoke. Oh, Westburn's gone for a standing tackle instead of a shot. Oh, 
I don't believe that. Excellent by Tagai. Yes. Give it him back. I'm not! Tell you something, in that back line for Saucier, Dad, there's a number three. Here, on the ball right now, Cardoso is a monster. Kind of hoping that he is a regen. Putting out the feelers after this display. The game turned into a little scouting mission. Ends 2-1. Tell me about him. Oh, he is a regen. And he's 86 overall. Be composed for the 90 minutes. They'll want to pass through us. Goal's job today is just to, like, disrupt as much as possible. Don't think about the killer balls up front. Goal intercepts. Exactly what we want. Wiseman! What's a save? How has he stopped that? Belchior to Wiseman Kitam. This is Tagai! Tagai! Get in there! Westberg on side. This is Wiseman Kitam trying more luck on the uh, right. That's where that big centre back is not residing. It's dropped to Belchior and Belchior with big game goals, man. Another interception by goal. This is Wiseman Kitam. Face up against him, lad. It's just doubling up on that side. Ugh! Wiseman takes out the goalkeeper. Go on, Belchior. Oh! Outstrength in Cardoso. This is Wiseman Kitam. Yes! That's what we wanted to see. He falls to the floor exhausted at the battle he's just had. That's perfect as a job could be. Ipswich Town 3. Real Sociedad nil. 5-1 on aggregate. That is the end of the episode. Gonzalo Geraldo gets the positive scenario. This player goes on a run with Callum O'Flannery. Plus two sprint speed, acceleration, and stamina. This has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. Never miss an upload again. Big thanks to everybody on the right-hand side supporting me on patron absolute legends of the game i will see you next time bye bye oh, oh, oh images images that i never wanted to see